I think on the one hand, non-Muslims cannot stereotype, but I also think the Muslim community has to think about how we make sure that children are not being infected with this twisted notion that somehow they can kill innocent people uh, and that that is justified by religion. One of the places that you're seeing this debate play itself out is on the refugee issue. Uh, both in Europe and I gather uh, it started popping up uh, while I was gone back in the United States. The people who are fleeing Syria are the most harmed by terrorism. They are the most vulnerable as a consequence of civil war and strife. They are parents, they are children, they are orphans. And it is very important, and I was glad to see that this was affirmed again and again by the G20, that we do not close our hearts to these victims of such violence uh, and somehow start equating the issue of refugees with the issue of terrorism. And when I hear folks say that, well, maybe we should just admit the Christians but not the Muslims, when I hear political leaders suggesting that there would be a religious test for which person who's fleeing from a war-torn country is admitted? When some of those folks themselves come from families who benefited from protection when they were fleeing political persecution? That's shameful. That's not American. That's not who we are. We don't have religious tests to our compassion. When Pope Francis came to visit the United States and, and gave a speech before Congress, he didn't just speak about Christians who were being persecuted. He didn't call on Catholic parishes just to admit those who were of the same religious faith. He said, protect people who were vulnerable. And so I think it is very important for us right now, particularly those who are in leadership, particularly those who uh, have a platform and can be heard. Not to fall into that trap, not to feed that dark impulse inside of us.